Hey there, this is Dr. Evan Osar, developer of the Integrative Movement System. Welcome to this edition of Integrative Movement Insider, where we're discussing the topic of core stabilization. And this comes from a question from one of our readers. It is you talk a lot about the psoas and the deep myofascial system. Can you talk about how that contributes to core stabilization? And how do we develop that system versus the superficial system? Now, it's important to understand that, yes, I talk a lot about the psoas and the deep myofascial system, which consists of the transversus abdominis, pelvic floor, diaphragm, multifidi. So those muscles are deeply and fascially attached to the trunk, spine, pelvis, and hip complex. And their job specifically is to provide proprioception back to the central nervous system and really provide that fine segmental control of the joints and position of our body. It's important to understand that, yeah, we can't really isolate out muscles, and that's not really the goal. The goal is to get preferential recruitment of these deep muscles so that there's better synergy between the superficial muscles as well as the deep muscles, or between the superficial and deep musculature. Because oftentimes when our clients have chronic tightness and or discomfort, they develop strategies that cause them to brace and they really grip hard with their superficial muscles. So the goal here is not to isolate out these deep muscles and or muscles like the psoas or transversus abdominis, but to start to preferentially recruit these muscles to start to restore timing, to bring back some of the atrophy that occurs when clients aren't using these muscles appropriately. So part of our IMS corrective exercise strategy is really to do just that, change our client's strategy on how they recruit their core musculature to teach them better alignment, breathing, control, so that they're able to upregulate those deeper muscles, to balance out the superficial muscles. Ultimately, what we're trying to create in our clients is that lower level strategy. And what we mean by a lower level strategy is that strategy that our clients use for low level activities, like sitting, standing, walking, bending, just breathing. Most of the activities of everyday life, we should have a low level of core activity. But what happens when our clients have chronic tightness and or discomfort, and this comes out of the literature, is they start to lose options. What they start to do is use a high level strategy, which is more like a bracing or gripping or a very tense and rigid type strategy from the majority of their activities of everyday life, sport and or occupation. So that creates a lot of joint compression. It creates a lot of tension in their body. It's that need that our clients have oftentimes, I feel fatigued a lot and or tight, like I always feel like I need to stretch or get massage. And they go to the chiropractor, massage therapist or physical therapist, they get released and they feel great, but then very quickly they feel tight again because they're living their life with a very high level strategy. So a lot of our work, initial work with our clients is to help them develop that low level strategy. And that's why we focus so much on the principles of the integrative movement system, alignment, breathing, control, because that helps create a more optimal low level strategy. So they're able to use their core without just bracing and gripping. Once we do that, then we teach them how to control neutral alignment. So we teach them the anti-rotation patterns. And anti-rotation is not just this kind of rotation or a transverse plane rotation, it's also controlling flexion extension and lateral flexion extension. Teach your clients how to control neutral alignment, the best, their best neutral alignment, before you teach them actually how to rotate and or flex, extend and or side bend out of those positions. So that's ultimately how we develop core stability in our clients. In the next two videos of this series, I'll demonstrate just a couple simple patterns that we do with our clients to bring these concepts into light of how we develop that low level strategy, how we take it into the higher level strategies and create a more optimal core stabilization strategy for our clients. One that's efficient, meaning they're using the right amount of effort for the task at hand and is robust, meaning they're able to move between low level activities and high level activities and have a good strategy in those activities that they're doing. So this is Dr. Evan Osar with Integrative Movement Insider. We'll catch you next time. Take care.